Okay, so I make this video because, well, for one, if you're a true MPC head um, like myself, you've been keeping up with the goings on of a Kai and looking for the 2.0 software and some new hardware standalone hybrid type units to come out. Well, yesterday the two were released for uh, pre order. You got the MPX. MPC X and the MPC Live, both available for pre order now. So, a lot of people are excited about that, and they're supposed to ship with the 2.0 software, um, which should also be available as a free upgrade for everyone else who got the studios, the Ren, the uh, and the uh, MPC Touch, and possibly the Element, too. I'm not sure, but um, anyway. Um, as I have been searching for uh, a hybrid unit that can work as a standalone and as a controller for um, MPC software, I came across the uh, Microsoft um, Surface Pro, which I just discovered recently. Um, I actually had one of these a couple of years ago, and I hated it because I'm an Apple guy. I have Apple everything. Apple is all over my house. Um, from an iPod to the iMac and iPad Air, which I'm shooting this on. I'm sorry, the MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, everything Apple. But the thing about it is that the Surface Pro is, and I have a Surface Pro 3 that I picked up from a guy last night at a good price. The Surface Pro 3 um, is a touchscreen, and it's a full Windows um, operating system which means you can load programs onto it so I did a little research and based on the specs I figured that I could load uh, my MPC software and some VSTs on it so I've already loaded the MPC software and I got the icon right here I'm gonna double click on that and I'm gonna show you how I use this as kind of a hybrid unit because the keyboard is detachable or it can flip backwards. I have it flip backwards with the kickstand down leaning on the keyboard because when you flip the keyboard around backwards, it's inactive. So it actually helps to support the kickstand. So I like that. And you can set this at multiple angles so I can get it just right, put it right in front of my studio. And as you can see, um, when I start the software, the MPC Studio the uh, interface pops on just like it would when you plug it into any other computer because the uh, Microsoft Surface Pro is a computer. So I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I'm going to show you something over here. I've loaded the NPC drum content and the bank in the 809. So I still have to load the um, some VSTs in and I have to load up the... Uh, the other kits, the trap kit and the uh, deep house kit. But if I double tap here, because this is a touch screen, as you can see, when I tap these pads, my pad, because I have the new fat pads, so they light up. Um, I installed those. So I got custom fat pads. You can actually see them light up when I tap the pads on here. So this is definitely fully touch screen. Um, I hit the play button. You can hit a metronome start, and you see that the uh, the tracker starts running. If I double click here on my MPC drum content, I'm gonna hit sample, and I'm gonna double click on that, and um, I'm gonna get into my drums. Double click on my drum kits, and you gotta get your finger just right on this, obviously. And I got it set on auto already, so you automatically when you tap on the sound, you hear it. Hope y'all can hear that okay. So um, I'm gonna pull that bongo sound over here. And let's get a couple more sounds. And you click on this little drag right here like you normally would do with a mouse. You just kind of drag that down with your finger. If I can get it right. My goodness. It's hard doing it from this angle. Right, so let's see what else we can get. Right, let's see. Uh, E piano, let's slide that over next to the bongo. And uh, let's find me 
a snare in here. See if we can make something real quick, just as an example. Uh, I got a clap. Let's use that. Let's put that on pad two. So I got my pad two. Got my clap. Pad 13, a ball go. Pad 14, I got a, uh, a piano sample. So, you get the gist of it, um, and I can also, if I just want to set this down and use it as a complete standalone at this point, I can do that, kind of like an MPC Pro, except you're using the entire full MPC software, which is 1.9 right now, which will soon be 2.0, because this is a full Windows operating system, I can load it, this is a portable computer. So, I can literally take this... Um, and not even have my studio hooked up and just play it inside of here on a touch screen um, and you can see up here if you load a sample let's pick one of my samples just like on an MPC touch boom look at that excellent all the buttons work and, it, and this is just for people who may not have already known that this works let me hit reverse nope that's normalized see i'm sitting on the angle so it's a little awkward trying to tap stuff let's hit reverse and do it and that's what that sound turns into let's go back home nice all right so there you have it get yourself a microsoft surface if you don't want to immediately um jump on board with the mpc touch because now the mpc live you got a lot of touch users who are wanting to switch um but if you're not ready to shell out the i don't know 1200 for the mpc live or 2200 i think it is for the pre-orders of the uh mpc x then this will be the next best route. And I picked this thing up for only a couple couple hundred dollars. I already had the studio. So I'm happy with it so far. And you can move it around and configure it however you want. Lay it down flat. Lay it on top of the studio. Because since everything's loaded up already, I can just set it on here. And boom, I use it by itself. So... Um, I'm happy with it. There we go. Look at that. All right, y'all. Hope that helped. Peace. All right, I wanted to add something to that, y'all. I just basically hot swapped out my MPC studio. I just unplugged it from my Surface Pro 3. And... All right. And as you can see, everything still works. Now, since I did load the bank and uh, the 809 and I think the Hybrid 3 um, in here as well, I can go right over here because we love plugins. Uh, and I'm going to go right over here. I'm going to track two. All right. Track two and well, that's three actually, but so what? I'm going to tap program and make a new program. I'm going to get me a plug in, and well, the bank is the first one, so that one automatically pops up. Boom, got the bank. I'm gonna hit select and I'm gonna go into the bank. <laughs> Just like if you were on a computer. All right. Now, if you have a MIDI controller keyboard, you can plug that in, or you can just use the pads here. 
go from bank to bank, change the octaves. And that's just on a touch screen without the studio even being hooked up. Of course, if you had the studio hooked up or the NPC touch, whatever you have, um, of course, doing that, you could uh, use the pads. But this is just an example of the capabilities on a Surface Pro 3, which now I wish I had known about before now. But since I know about it now, it's all good. I'm going to mess around with this couple hundred bucks versus getting one of the new units you know as long as they launch the 2.0 software for free for all of us man i'm golden and um this thing travels everywhere and it's light um only thing is that uh for input you know for insert sampling into it and things like that and all the outputs of course you're not going to have that um but you know if you needed something like that on the go just get a hub and a, and a audio interface, something real small. And I'm not going to name off any brands. There's tons of that stuff out there. Get a USB hub with an SD card reader and a USB insert because it does have, uh, it already has a USB. And um, I think this is, uh, what do you call it? Where you can um, uh, stick the cable in there so that you can to another um, monitor or something like that um, that's there on the other side you got your headphone and volume and headphone slash mic so you do have ways to do input of sound and output if you want to route it out to a mixer or speakers or something like that so this does have those capabilities you'll just have to get a couple of really low cost um, attachments to do that so Alright, that's my video, man. For anybody who didn't know, this is an alternative to the MPC Touch or um, somewhat of an alternative. And then with the really high cost uh, MPC X and MPC Live that have come out, I'm probably going to get one or the other or both anyway. But for now, I love experimenting and finding things out and especially figuring out how to do things for less money. So... This was my rendition of the alternative and hope it was helpful. Peace.